Hello and welcome to the first edition of The Drum. I'm Steve Kinane. Coming up, Kevin for UN. Is this the former PM's exit strategy? The text message Julia Gillard mistakenly sent to Tony Abbott. And who's shaping up as this election's candidate from hell? Our panel tonight, Julia Morrow from The Chaser, Annabelle Crabb from ABC Online and blogger and Daily Telegraph columnist Tim Blair. And Tim, especially good to have you here tonight, given your predictions you made about ABC News 24 a couple of years ago. Yes, that it would never, ever happen. So uh, it's the first time I've been wrong. I'm here to admit it. Uh, <laughs> We're uh, stashing that with Tim's other predictions. That's right. It was a non-core prediction. Fire, yes. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Apologies. Well, well, we bring you uh, on our first show in the first week of what some commentators have dubbed the Seinfeld election, where nothing much really happens. And today there wasn't much campaigning for a good reason. The two leaders putting politics aside to attend the funeral of an Australian soldier killed in Afghanistan. Annabelle Crabb, is there more of nothing going on in this campaign than in previous campaigns? Yeah, it is not your imagination, that's for sure. Have you noticed that today hasn't been all that different from mm. the other days when they have been doing something? But the odd thing that's been happening in this campaign, I think, is that both... Uh, uh, protagonists are running a pretty kind of um, cautious campaign. They're kind of getting rid of anything that they suspect people might not like and they're getting rid of the policies that might otherwise distinguish them from each other. So Tony Abbott's like, you know, you don't like work, work choices? Bang! It's gone! You know, no more work choices. Julia Gillard is kind of cleaving closer and closer to uh, the former Howard government's line on asylum seekers that they were so opposed to at the time. Mm. So 